hi guys welcome back to my channel today in this video i'm going to be talking about how you can overcome imposter syndrome like many other people i have struggled with imposter syndrome and this situation becomes more intense or becomes more heightened when i am transitioning or venturing into something new and for example when i was transitioning into into product management from chemical engineering i experienced severe imposter syndrome and this kind of almost prevented me from making that transition through the course of just taking that leap of faith and fast forward now being in the product management field i have a few tips on what i did to overcome imposter syndrome so let's get into this video so imposter syndrome is a deficiency of your will and this is due to negative influences either from yourself like your self-taught your self-talk and your mindset or it can also be from external influences like your friends your family your peers and so forth someone with imposter syndrome would believe for example they can't speak in public because they have no background in public speaking and as a result of this belief they take actions that align with this belief so they will take an action like i will not um, take any opportunity to speak in public because i can't speak in public and as a result of this, this decision this affects their overall trajectory of their lives and they miss a lot of opportunities in the long run so there are two main steps to take when you're overcoming imposter syndrome in any area of your, your life and the first step is planning the planning step involves of the gathering of knowledge and information and learning in that new area you're venturing into. This essentially helps you to build credibility and courage while, while you're making that transition into something that is different to you. And once you find that you have done your due diligence and you have reached out to people that have the knowledge in the area you're venturing into, that mental barrier or limitation that you had in your head slowly starts to crumble and you feel much more equipped to tackle that new um, area in your life obviously in planning there is long-term planning and in long term there is short-term planning and this essentially is breaking down larger tasks or larger goals into smaller smaller tasks and smaller goals and this helps you to pace your the time and efforts that you need to consistently achieve results in that new area in your life. So the second step is faith. And there are three aspects of faith. There's faith in yourself, faith in other people, and faith in a higher power, and that is God. But for this video, I'll be focusing mainly on faith in yourself. So the world takes us at our own valuation. And there's this quote by Orisa Madden in his book, An Iron Will. And it says, the world believes in a man who believes in himself. So essentially, to become who you want to be, you have to believe that you're already that person. And when you start training your mind to, to accept that you are that person, like you can get that job that you are worthy of more and it essentially helps you to train your mind and ultimately uh, changes your decisions and changes the choices that you make in your life it lines up the choices you make in that trajectory of the person or the outcome that you want to achieve so there's a bible verse proverbs 23 verse 7 to be exact and it says as a man thinks in his heart so is he and this essentially shows that to become who you want to be to become the version of yourself that you aspire to be you have to believe you're already that person and that like i said helps you to train your mind and and determines the decisions that you make. So if there's any area in your life where you're struggling with imposter syndrome, you have to start believing that you are that person, you can get that job, you are qualified. So any reason that you're using to discount yourself or to this, to um, say you're not good enough for that position or for that place or for that, to achieve that goal, you have to start discounting those arguments against yourself and start believing that, that you have what it takes to get to that place in your life so that is the first step of the faith aspect of overcoming imposter syndrome essentially you have to believe that you are who you want to be and start walking along those lines and the next aspect on the faith 
is doing which is taking action so faith must also must always go with taking action so you believe that you are who you want to be and hence you take action as a result of that belief so there's another quote from the book an iron will orison says that people do things three times instead of once so they do it in anticipation in actuality and in rumination and this is essentially the experience of someone with imposter syndrome so someone with imposter syndrome would anticipate to take action as a result of um, insecurity and they overthink and they rationalize and once they take action they then start to like pick apart their decisions and the outcome and essentially just criticize themselves for not doing better or for not achieving better results and the best way to combat this is by doing things once and i know it sounds easy but essentially making that decision and exercising your willpower to do things once really helps you to avoid wasting your time and energy in overthinking and in rumination which is not helpful to anyone essentially doing things once consistently will always bring results take the example of swimming in order to learn how to swim you have to swim regularly and in order to be a good swimmer you have to be consistent you have to be disciplined you have to be committed to improving in your swimming consistency essentially brings results and planning alone does not bring results and improving in a new aspect of your life you have to consistently take action and do what you need to do that is what that brings results and essentially helps you to become much more credible in any area of your life being consistent is very hard to do that's why you need to take certain measures and setting processes to sustain consistency in any area of your life i have another video where i touched on how to be consistent and i will link somewhere in this video so essentially planning which is about 20 percent of it then taking action and being consistent these three things together help you to um overcome imposter syndrome in your life planning doing checking and acting this whole iterative cycle helps you to take action and um, measure outcome and make adjustments then apply Apply those adjustments into your planning and so forth so i guess this is the end of my video i hope you learned something from this video please like this video share it with your friends and i will see you in my next video